Well, hello. I know I promised the next video I did would be a Raspberry Pi video, but I can't really be bothered. So instead, I'm going to do a Google SketchUp uh, sort of basic how to. So I'll just get started. So here we are, I'll just delete the little man. I am, I am on my laptop and this runs very well on my laptop. It runs on any computer really. It doesn't need a supercomputer to run at all. I actually ran it on 300 megs of RAM and like a 1 gigahertz processor. So yeah. Well, less than that, I think. Anyway, let's get on. So, I think I'll make sort of like a house or a barn or something. So, the first thing we need to do to make our barn is actually. We'll do it here. So, first thing we need to do is get this uh, sort of like square making tool and draw the shape of our shed. So, that should be good. Uh, now, because it's still 2D, we need to make it 3D, so we need to get the, use this like box tool and drag our barn a bit bigger um, a little bit thinner taller there we go so now we need to make the pointed roof so we need to get the pencil tool. Basically just draw the shape of the roof. It's not very yeah, that's a bit shit really, but oh well. Now we've done that, guess what we need to do? Use the 3D tool to drag that along. That was easy. And then it does sort of snap into place. Which is good. So now you you know you can you can see it coming together now. There's our sort of barn shape. So we'll just sort of draw the doors on. Our uh, tractor's quite fat. We'll make it bigger. We'll leave it offset because you know you might have your workbench sort of there in your workshop, and then have the door because I like the offset to the side. So, draw a line down the middle. I can have two separate doors. And a little door handle on each one. I'll do I suppose. Now we need to do the colour. Mm. What's the colour tool? Oh here it is, they put it in a different place. I'm using the newest version. 
I'm used to using the older version, so... We need to go to... Bricks and cladding will have just a, just a normal antique brick, apparently. So, I want to fill the side in. At the front. There. Do the bottom as well. Might as well. Yep, so all there is left to do is this end. There we go. Now, I have tried to find like a tile for the roof, but I'm not sure what it would be under. Roofing, there we go, that's what it'd be under. Uh, that's a new sort of type of colour. There we go, that's our roof. So, there we go, that's beginning to, well, that's quite nice actually, I'm proud of that. Just wondering, if I get rid of that line, it probably get rid of everything, so I'll leave it there. Oh, I can always go back if it goes wrong. Oh, it's fine. I'll do the same on the other end. Bear with me. See, we haven't done the inside. I don't know whether I should. So, delete that line. Okay. Um, and for the doors. Do we have metal doors or wood doors? I think we should go for a modern barn and have wooden doors. I mean, uh, metal doors. There you go. Fencing, cool. I'll just pick a random one. <laughs> I guess that's our door handle then. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you can see the door's got a nice metal door pattern. That's what I wanted. So, shall we shall we do the inside on that? I don't know. I suppose we could just do the floor. Uh, so we need to go to tiles. We'll have a nice tiled floor in our barn slash house. Oh, look at that! Lovely. Carpet would have been nice, but this is a workshop. Uh, oh, water. I've never seen the water textures before. Oh, yeah, that's quite nice. Anyway, uh, oh, yeah. If I... What do we have up the walls? I suppose we should, we should have brick, really, but we're going to have a nice snazzy barn, so we're going to have coloured walls. We just have a different type of. Uh, oh, we'll have that.
Uh, we go. If I go back to the metal and get that. And we need to see the inside of the door, same colour. What? There you go, with the metal. So there we go, we've done the inside of our shed. So we've made a basic barn. Suppose we could, uh, what could we do? Maybe try and, try and do a chimney? Even though they are quite hard, because um, it's quite awkward to navigate around in this program. Oh, anyway, I got a awkward. Oh, and it, if I draw a square, sort of, here, and if I sort of lift it up, it's wonky, if you see what I mean. You know, <laughs> that's not much of a chimney. So, and it's got tiles on it, which is weird. Um, I don't know what we could do. Oh, that's weird. It's happening. Oh, we've made a hole in the roof. Um, bear with me, I'll try and try and fix the issue. <laughs> oh, that's done it. I love this program. It's so easy to use. What I will do, because our barn is very posh and lovely, we'll just have a fireplace going up the wall, if you know what I mean. So oh, it's ugly. I can't look. Uh, apparently that can't go any higher than that. Because it's offset limited to or something. Anyway, you know what I was going to do. I'll just do the brick. Uh. That was it. So near the top. Breaking clear there we go. No brick chimney. A bit tall, it is, isn't it? What colour are we going to have on the.
I won't. It's chimney like enough. Well, there you go. That's how to make a barn. Keep thinking I haven't coloured in that door from a distance. It just looks white. There you go. I'd be happy to live in that if it was a bit more detailed inside. Um. I will do a part two and we'll make like a little bit of a garden to go on the outside bit which will be quite nice so yeah and close that I would like to save please it see it the, the thing I love about this it does do auto saves uh, so yeah, and it saved as dot s k p. SketchUp. Well, I suppose yeah, SketchUp. So we'll call this YouTubers. Barn version 1.0 So thanks for watching uh, like comment and I'd appreciate it if you subscribed I really do love it when people subscribe, uh, so thanks again, uh, I'll see you in part 2, which shouldn't be too long before I upload it, uh, I'll leave a link where you can download SketchUp, so goodbye.